ahí mo. I'm Gareth from Pulse Performance in New Zealand and um, we have a small team um, that specialise in Mazda rotary engines, four and six rotor engines that we've supplied for customers around the world now. So yeah, I started off in a um, general automotive shop maybe 25 years ago and then um, six years on I started off working at Pulse Performance with Warren Overton when we just first started the business. Yeah, now, I, now I'm the business owner and we um, yeah, build lots of cool stuff like this. I started off working with cars and motorbikes at a really young age I'm in my dad's shed and that just sort of followed over into you know starting to, to work on cars and motorbikes in, in various shops. Always been passionate about fast cars and how they work and all that type of thing. And yeah the six road is um, built up using um, you know billet and centre plates. Um, still runs a lot of um, factory 13B parts, high compression rotors and a, a bullet crankshaft. Yeah, the rest of the specs are, are very similar to what we've run in, on our four rotor engines. Yeah, over time, because we've done so many of them, we've been able to refine and develop them. So a lot of that's gone into, into this engine. Yeah, I, over the previous couple of six rotors that we've built, as time's gone on, there's been a lot better advancements in um, computers and, and that type of thing. So we're able to run more sensors and get more data off the, the, the engine, as well as fine tune it. Yeah, I first met Benji maybe, it might have been 10 years ago when he had one of his earlier RX-7. Yeah, that's where it all started. But he's, he's a good, good sort, easy to get along with. And yeah, Benji, yeah, roughly two years ago, contacted us um, yeah, to build, build the engine for this. It all started from there. We started putting together the engine before we even got the car. From there, they, they dropped the car off and we're fitted the uh, engine and gearbox and done all the all the fabrication, all the wiring, all the tuning. As far as the as far as this car goes, it's all gone relatively smoothly. We haven't really had a had many issues at it with it at all. Still running the same tune up that we, we ran as soon as it came off the dyno and we've had improvements that we've had to, to make with the cooling system. There's been a few other little issues like um, minor oil leak that we're experiencing today. <laughs> yeah some drivetrain issues but just vibration and um, that type of thing so yeah but aside from that it's been pretty hassle free. So this is um, the third, actually the third six rotor that we, we've built. Um, the first one was a local one and the second one we actually did in China so we flew over there and fitted it into the car and, and done the tuning on that one um, which is still running well to this day. But this, this one's the first um, bullet six rotor that we've built so the engine's built up mainly from 13b parts high compression rotors yeah billet um, center plates and 13b rotor housings it has all our own custom porting and intake and exhaust manifolds um, as well as uh, yeah, our own, own spe specifications on the throttle bodies and then uh, the, the the car runs on a Heltec R5 ECU with a with PD616 so we do all the wiring all the fabrication in-house and, and as well as tuning and the car makes 860 horsepower on ethanol at, at nine and a half thousand rpm so it goes really well and it, it's um, proven to be quite reliable so far so it's good. PWR um, coolers in the front and back it runs um, quite a large oil cooler up front. Oh, with, with any build like this they're, they're super satisfying especially when you're starting with a bare car and you've got to fit it out with all the plumbing and and um, you know, having an end, end result like this that's like no other engine around, um, and the sound of it, of course, and, and also performing like it does. It's, yeah, it's cool to, to see it from the, from the start right through and then see it performing on track and um, creating obviously a lot, of, a lot of attention. If you ask me to do it again, um, I'll do it all over again. <laughs> First met William when he um, came over to our workshop and we went over some measurements just as just as far he's not done yet <laughs> so um, yeah William who who did a lot of the chassis work um, he came over 
to our workshop and even prior to building the car, this is when I, we first met him. Well, was this right here, is he? <laughs> no way. Where? And we went over and, and basically gave him, gave him a, a bunch of measurements to where we wanted the engine placed. A lot of that was to do with working out the, um, the weight, the corner weight on the car as well. Yeah, and from there on we've um, worked together on the car and yes, it's been good. William's hard case, um, super easy. He's a character to get along with, so really proud of um, our team back at home. Um, that they've put, you know, just as much work into this as I have, and and the the um, res results speak for themselves.